Welcome to the Mandula Awakening. This is for the solar eclipse, new moon in Scorpio, new moon solar eclipse. Guys, this is a general message as well as for the collective. All right, spirit, let's get seven cards out here and then we'll talk through this at once. bottom of the deck we have justice so most definitely things balancing out so what we have is the sun uh, this is you this is your expression you are currently showing up as trying to persevere forward so you this solar eclipse is all about bringing in powerful changes as indicated by this card here expect powerful changes this new moon energy is bringing in a new start. The thing that is required from you with this energy going on under the Scorpio moon energy is it does require you to push through your fears. And so you are currently showing up as I'm going to go ahead and call a spade a spade and say you're currently showing up as being triggered, but still having the tenacity and the desire in the drive to persevere forward. Mm -mm. Ooh, that hit the floor. Give me just a second, guys. Alrighty, so the moon. Shadow issue blocking your spiritual journey. Um, so I'm, I, there's a few things that I heard when I seen this. One, I do feel as if that there are a few people that are watching this, that are resonating this, that are holding on to some secrets. And because of these secrets that they don't want out, it's kind of uh, interfering, it is not kind of, it is interfering with the decisions that are required for you to make to move forward. So there are some secrets blocking your spiritual journey that you must set yourself free from. But on the other hand, there are some people that are also um, not trusting their intuition. And uh, I feel as if that this may be because maybe in the past, maybe uh when you the relationship that you had with your intuition and your spirit guides wasn't as developed as it is now um kind of led you astray and so that that has you have a level of resistance because of that and um so that is being asked to be addressed here as part of the work through your fear the earth energy here what grounds you, your talents and your resources is the hermit card here. And so this is that you are well versed and well established with going within. And uh, you have, you're willing to evaluate yourself. You don't just look to the external for clarification of the issue at hand. You're willing to shine a light on the heart, uh, on the, in the dark cages, on the things that people try to keep hidden. You are willing to shine a light on that internally and, and, it is, and you have been able to acquire a lot of wisdom because of that. Now right here, this is the peer, uh, the penumbrum, penumbrum, uh, what, what needs forgiving? And, and, and this is something within a family dynamic. This could be a relationship. This could be, you know, the family that you were born into, but there's definitely some conflict and some strife within a family setting that needs forgiving. Um, I feel like that you may be looking at it um, too harshly and it's a need to really um, take a different look at maybe how you showed up in the past and um, 
and how maybe you judge the current situation based off of the way things played out in the past. So there is some forgiving that needs to take place in a family dynamic. So something that needs to be released. There is a Pisces or an Aries energy um, that needs, it says who or what needs to be released. So there could be a Pisces or an Aries energy that needs to be released. This is also the energy of jealousy, spite, entitlement. So if there's any of that energy, if, 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 if those are triggers for you, if you get jealous easy, if you sit back and wish that you could have what someone else has, or, um, you know, if you feel like that the world has done you wrong and um, so it's time for somebody to start paying. If any of that energy swarms around in you, that does need to be released under this solar eclipse. Now, the shadows that can't be seen, the unknown influences here is, uh, I'm sorry, no. I didn't pull eight cards. That's why. So one more card. So we are on six. So the shadow that can't that that can't be seen. You know the unknown influences. Is this is judgment? You know this is um, Mars, uh, Pluto energy, and this is judgment. This is reevaluating looking this is undergoing massive transformation through self-evaluation um, judgment is being called making a final decision and um, as I said earlier there's there's a few people that are watching this that are going to resonate with unable to really progress on their spiritual journey because of a secret that is that is being kept and because of that secret give me just a second guys all right never mind because of that secret it's affecting the way that you're making this final decision or unwilling to make a final decision so now the path to totality how do you release or forgive is this eight of swords you get out of your mind. You stop overthinking it. Um, you no longer tie yourself to the shoulda, coulda, woulda, or if I do this, or it. There's just set yourself free and allow yourself to be in flow. Face your fears. Set yourself free from the secret, or allow yourself to be in flow with your intuition. If you've closed yourself off from your emotions and being in flow with your intuition, just for once, go with the flow of your intuition and just see where it takes you. Because I do feel as if that will allow you to break free from the confines of your mind. So, when the sun reemerges, what's next, right? The Page of Pentacles, the card that I forgot to pull. This uh, this ability to manifest from this youthful, it's like you unlock your imagination. You unlock this, uh, you know, how children are always asking a thousand questions, eager to learn, wanting to uh, learn how to change a diaper or learn how to cook or learn how to fix a car uh, like their dad or their mom is doing, you know. And so it's like, that's what reemerges is this childlike energy, this new found desire to learn something and to take on a big, it's like you unleash your imagination is really what I feel here. I do feel as if if there are any hidden forces or I'm sorry, hidden things about your life purpose and what it is that you're here to fulfill in this lifetime, I do feel as if it will be revealed under this energy. So, you know, the moon, new moon is the beginning of a moon cycle. This moon cycle ends for the full moon in Scorpio in 2023. So 
um, this within these next six months, there's going to be something about your um, north node that is going to be illuminated. And you're going to allow yourself to break free from from your self node comfort, not to leave the things that you've learned in your self node, you know, your past life or in your childhood, whichever one you believe. You're not leaving what you learned behind, but you are leaving the perspective in which you keep yourself stuck to the negative storylines that you have tied yourself to. You are releasing that. You're learning to balance your north node and south node, which is bringing in a more stable, solid foundation. And it'll happen early on in the discovery. Like you don't have to put in, uh, you're going to have to put in work to maintain it. But in to get to that stability, it literally requires you to acknowledge your north node. Take a leap of faith towards your north node. And then stability just, it just like, it just falls in place. Closing message spirit. So we have a fiery climax approaches. Absolutely. It's not going to be easy. You're going to have to persevere forward. It's going to require you to release any type of jealousy, any type of resentment, any type of spite, anything that really does prevent you from. Give me just one second, guys. I'm sorry. Um, it does. It requires you to release any. Um, quick to tempered energy, you know, any of this revenge energy that you may feel it, it it's 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 as if, you know, yes, I lost the battle and I'm going to accept that loss. But the war is not over and I will conquer the war. I will win the war. And this is a, it, it, once you shift your perspective, I do feel as if you're going to be able to see things close up and you're going to be able to see progress forward. Alrighty, guys, I pray that these messages provided you with some guidance on your journey. If these messages did resonate, we would absolutely appreciate a thumbs up down below. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, let's choose peace. Love and light, guys.